So decide which concentrations of reducing sugars to make using cereal dilution. Using 20 cubic centimeters of the 0.4% reducing sugar solution, G, which was listed here, I'm going to start a cereal dilution, reducing the concentration by half between each concentration. And then I'm going to use this diagram here to show how I'm going to reduce the three further concentrations. I'm going to make this three more times. I'm going to take 20, 20, 20, and 20 cubic centimeters of half each time. Half of 0 0.4 is 0 0.2. Half of 0 0.2 is 0 0.1. Half of 0 0.1 is 0 0.05. Percent, percent, percent. I must use units. I must use units. I must use units. I must use units. That was weak. All right. Now, using this diagram, I have these arrows here. This arrow is devoted to water. Because I am diluting by half each time, I need to add distilled water W. I am taking out 10 cubic centimeters. I'm taking out half and putting in the same half of water. So I'm taking out 10 cubic centimeters of this value, and I'm copy, paste, and changing 20 to 10. And then I'm putting 10 cubic centimeters of W up here. And I'm adding those two together to 10, 20 cubic centimeters, and that's 0.2%. And then I take these arrows, and I just shift them down here. And I replace that 0 0.4 four that was here with a 0 0.2 over here. And then I shift down here. And I replace that 0 0.2 with 0 0.1. And that's all I have to do. And that is worth three points to me. That's all I have to do in a serial dilution question. That is it. That's how it is done. Now I can draw that on a figure at a later time. Right now I feel like I'm on a roll. So, but I figured I'd take this moment and this opportunity to show you serial dilution as well. And this is another Cambridge skill that is extraordinarily important and something that you absolutely must know on a very short time scale. So uh, what I've done is I've taken this opportunity. I have here solution M, which is milk, which is 5% uh, triglyceride. Oh my, I hope nothing broke. All right, so, um, and I have here W, distilled water solution. So I have here triglyceride milk, 5% M. I have labeled M0, which is my initial M solution. I have M1, M2, and M3. My first dilution, my second dilution, and my third dilution. So I've pre-labeled them with my glass marker pen. It's a dry erase marker, all right? Uh, I'm covering the brand name because no buzz marketing. All right, so I have here, I've been given for this lab three syringes, but I'm going to show you uh, how to reuse syringes as well, all right, using a for washing and a for waste container, for washing and for waste, all right? So I'll put those off to the side for now. All right, now, this is a 10cc syringe. Now, my uh, instructions call for uh, 20 cubic centimeters. Now, I'm going to do this uh, uh, with the idea in mind that I'm going to start by placing 20 cubic centimeters in uh, the first setup. So I'm going to put uh, 20 into my M0 initially, and then I would be taking half out of M0 and putting half of M0 into M1. And then I would be putting half, uh, an equal part of that, of water, into M1 to dilute M0 by half and have half concentration. Now that would take 5% triglyceride and turn that into 2.5% triglyceride. That was the first step in my series of dilutions. Then I would mix that 
and then I would take that 2.5% and I would take half of that and I would take that out and put that into here. Then I would take another 10 cubic centimeters, since I'm taking out, if I'm putting 20 in here and then I'm putting 10 in here and 10 of water in here, I'd have 20 total. Then I'd take 10 of that out, I'd put that in here, I'd have 10 total. And then I would take 10 of water and put that in here. I would have 2.5 and 10 of water. That would make 1.25% triglyceride solution. Then I would take another, and then I would mix that. And I would take half of that out and put that into here, my third dilution. That would be 0.625%. Well, hold on, 1.25%. Sorry, 0 0.675. Head math is hard. I'm sure that uh, if there's still annotations or whatever on YouTube right now, the, the bubble will appear to correct me. Math is hard. Um, respect for math teachers. Anyway, um, algebra teachers. Anyway, uh, have that in here and then 10 of water to mix that in. Now, I'm going to show you the shortcut method, which is faster. and uh, that means that uh, because it's faster, it will save you time on your lab exam, which is the entire purpose of these videos, is because you are prepping for an exam, a Cambridge exam. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to use one syringe for this entire process. Now, first step. I'm not going to deal with the milk first. I'm going to deal with water first. I know what I need. I need 10 cubic centimeters of water in Serial dilution, step one, M1, M2, and M3. So I'm going to take 10 of water into M1, 10 of water into M2, and 10 of water into M3. I am now done with water. I don't need to rinse this. I just need to swipe off the water. That's all I need to do. I have now all of the dilution, I have now all of the dilution, dilution that I'm going to need. Next step. M, 5% triglyceride M. M0 is the original s solution. Now, I'm going to be taking 20 cubic centimeters into M0, and then I'm going to be taking half of that out and putting it into here. Okay. So, 10 cubic centimeters can go into here for M0. But wait a minute. If I'm just going to be taking 10 out of here and putting it into here, why bother putting any more in here? And why not just take from my bench reagent and put it directly into there? And now I'm done with my bench reagent. I put that off to the side. Now I swirl my M1. My M1 is ready. And now I need to clean my syringe. Washing, waste. Washing, waste. Washing, waste. Clean that off. Set those aside. Now, I need 10 cubic centimeters of this. And I'm going to put that into M2. This is now 10 cubic centimeters remaining of my 2.5% of my M1. Set that aside so I don't mess with it. The last thing I want to do is mess with the things that are done. So I'm setting them aside so I don't screw them up. Screw them up. Now, this is like I said. If you screw things up, problems happen. Anyway, things happen, and that's why they give you up to eight paper towels. <sighs> Cue the sad music. will go on as long as the editor thinks it's funny. Alright. Now, for 
washing. For waste. For washing. For waste. For washing. For waste. Set those aside. Now, take out ten. Put ten in there. Set that aside so I don't screw up again. Set that down. Scroll that. And I'm done. I now have 5%, 2.5%, 1.25%, 1 and 0.675%. And if we look closely, we can actually see that they are, in fact, different colors, and there we can actually see the difference in concentrations visibly. Or you just have to trust me. That's serial dilution.